Hey everybody, 911 Systems here. Little video about the Home Alert Mini and Unication Pagers. If you have a Home Alert Mini and you're not familiar with how the relay activation works on the Unication Amplified Charger, this is the video you want to watch. So the Unication Pager does not come set to automatically activate the relay on the Unication Amplified Charger. That's a problem because the Home Alert Mini requires the relay to activate for it to work properly. Now, it's not the end of the world, and it's actually a good thing that you can control the relay settings per channel. For example, since you can control the relay settings per channel, you can choose exactly which tones or channels you want the Unication G2, G3, G4, or G5 pager to turn the light on on the Home Alert Mini unit for. That being said, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Opening up the G Series PPS software, connect your pager to your computer. You would click C, and then you would hit C3, Read Profile from Device. Up here, you would see connected devices. As you can see, my device is not connected, so I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to open an existing file. So I've opened the existing file. Once you're in here, you're going to go down to the group ID settings, number five. And here is a list of all the channels that are on your pager. Talk groups from trunking systems plus two tone sets for your um, VHF or conventional uh, systems. So as you can see, none of these uh, have the relay activated. You have your channel number, your group alias, alert mode, alert tone, voice storage, relay control. As you can see, all the relays are off. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here. And I do believe we have the relay on. Yes, we do. For the company to fire tone. So if Company 2's fire department in my area was to get a call, this would activate the relay, and in turn, this being activated for 60 seconds will allow the Home Alert Mini's light to illuminate for 60 seconds, and then the relay would turn off on the Unication Amplified Charger, and it would reset itself. When there was another activation, it would come back on again. So, to set this, we're going to show you how to do the SMC all call. Come over here to the relay control, double click. Under relay control, you're going to do timeout, and then you're going to choose the amount of time you want the light on the home alert menu to stay on. For this, we're going to do 120 seconds, which is two minutes, and we're going to hit OK. So, now if there's an all call, the light will stay on for 120 seconds on the home alert menu. If there's a call for company two, the light stays on for 60 seconds. We don't recommend leaving the light on for more than 10 minutes total, just due to the fact that the light does get fairly warm and it is mounted to an ABS enclosure. It's not a safety risk, it's not gonna catch on fire, nothing like that, but it could over time warp the material of the Home Alert Mini if you leave it on for extended periods of time. Once you've done all this, go ahead and hit Save. Then you're gonna hit Program, and then here you would, if your pager was connected, you would hit program and it would send this to the pager. Once this is done, your pager is good to go. You can set it in the amplified charger and all the uh, tones or talk groups that you chose for the uh, relay to activate for will come on when there's activity on that uh, talk group or that two tone set, which will in turn turn on the Home Alert Mini's LED light. If you have any further questions, you can always contact us. Uh, through our website or at support at 911systemsllc.com. Thank you all and have a good day.